Coming out sick like I'm lining up Kenny, man. Fuck a V6, this a hit me, man. We dub the fit like Detroit with this Birmingham. I'm on the fat top with Nina and Cunningham. Okay, I'm going to keep this brief. And just like they say, trigger warning, this is going to be a white folks trigger warning. Not all white folks, not my friends and people who know me, but those white folks. Baby, y'all know I was on live with you earlier today. I cleaned up my kitchen. I smoked a little herb. I came and laid down here. And I call myself going to take a little nap before... Um, I go to the show tonight, which I'm about to do a post about. I watched, I was scrolling on my iPad, which is right here in my bed. I was scrolling on my iPad and I seen, I had seen this earlier, but now it was everywhere. And I watched the brawl that the white folks incited by beating down, physically putting their hands on my dear brother on the dock who had asked them to please move their white privileged yacht so other people could dock in this space. He was doing his job. They proceeded to come over and try to mollywop that motherfucker. Well, guess what? Trigger warning now for the black folks. Black folks seeing them white folks beating down that brother. They jumped off the boat, swam, ran, helicoptered, parachuted, and jumped down on that dock and commenced to beating them white folks. Now, mind you, that shit pissed me off, but low-key, I watched it about 10 times. Because very rarely in this society do we ever get any retribution for anything white folks do to us. And we constantly apologize for something that we didn't mean or might have meant to them. We always got to apologize. They always get away with everything. When I tell you them brothers was and sisters was in there beating them white folks down, you, you just don't know, white folks, the, the thing that's going to set black folks off. And it could be and should be everything. The shit that we've been through, black folks ought to walk down the street and whip y'all ass like this every day. That's what's wrong. Put the guns down and go to whooping some ass again in these streets. We'll see how smart you get then. Anyway, I went to sleep with that on my mind. I got woke up by a couple of texts because I get a little ding. And I found myself angry texting back the two friends of mine who had texted me. I went back and looked at them. And I, was, I told this one dude, yeah, I'm a real from Oakland, California, via Arkansas and blah, blah, blah. I said some shit. And then to my, <laughs> to my girl, Angela Dean, I wrote her back, so stay in your lane, da, 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 some shit. Because I was mentally still triggered from the damn video, which I'm about to watch again, by the way. So I just had to come on and say that. Yeah, that brother that swam to the dock and jumped up and, and commenced to whoop it. They, they need to go and put him in the Olympics. That brother's a straight <laughs> athlete. I don't give a f who don't like what I just said um, because I said what I said. And I felt what I felt. And I feel what I feel. And that's it. So anyway, I'm just going to go now and um, let y'all mother uh, go at it. But uh, yeah, you get what you deserve. Be kind, be nice to people. Let that man do his damn job. And we're going to see what kind of lawsuit he end up with. He probably won't get nothing uh, because he's black and there's no justice, no peace for black men in this society. But he ought to have a class action lawsuit against all three of them big that came and jumped on him and everybody else involved you know they can take their um take their um punishment as it comes and i said what i said so there it is <laughs>